All right, people, welcome back. More Vitamin Y. So, still sick, trying to get you guys all your videos. But we actually have a special guest here on Vitamin Y. You guys already know by the title. Uh, Slate's here. Yep, what's up, guys? So, Slate here, admittedly, has not been keeping up with the Vitamin Y. Yeah. So, he has no idea what Labradite does, and Labradite nope, Ubel nope. does. So, we're going to yep. just go oh, ahead. Oh, no and idea. This will be fun to watch, honestly. Um. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, I hosted, and then, like... Like seven people <laughs> jumped on the duel. You see how many people are on DN now? Yeah, thirty-four hundred people are on DN. <laughs> and how what? many admins? Okay, it's huge. No, yeah, that's a ton admin. of people. That's fine. Um, four admins. Uh, that's a ton of people, though. Like thirty-four hundred is a lot. Ah, uh, this is kind of bad. <laughs> hand is kind of bad. Man, that gorgeous one hundred zero. I can't get over that. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, that's I beautiful. might just go ahead and special summon the dark. I want both of these out of my hand, so I want to special summon the dark refer. That sucks. I, I, that sucks. I got no other plays besides special summoning the dark refer. I don't even have anything normal summon, but I want both of these in the grave, so I want to special summon. <laughs> that, that's 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 weird, but you know what? At least the play is set up. So. Oh, do you make like Leo and stuff? Yeah, I can make Leo. Is that like a, a common play? Yeah, that's just I didn't open up any spell cards. What are your traps? Uh, call the Haunted Oasis. So, okay, that's that's good. So you opened up fine, right? Yeah. It's just that I opened up awkward because I just special summoned Dark Greffer and I don't get, I didn't contact my normal summon because I don't have anything to normal summon now. You're right, yeah. But, so you could have gone to like what, like a rank 4? Would that be a thing you'd do? Or... It used to be, but now since the Wobble Chain is banned, I mean... <laughs> oh, well, just go into, go into Tomaeus, man. But you should totally incorporate that. Any rank 4 deck that doesn't have like an extra deck, like if you have extra deck space, incorporate Tomaeus. That's... Oh, I'm... that's so bad. Yeah, the ice hand. That'll. Ah, uh, I'm trying to think. I'm that'll really suck. trying to think. Because I can't chain these and summon you bells. So I'm trying to think if I want to go ahead and activate that attack decoration and summon you bell. Oh, wow. But then he'll pull, go you ahead and have show monsters and, and, like, even if you Even if he targets one and he chain the other one, then you'll have a monster for him to kill. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it is not looking yeah, this good. This is terrible. This is fucking terrible. Uh, that, attack uh, decoration. Tell, tell me attack is good. Tell me attack is good. No, because I want to add attack decoration. I want to go oh, ahead and okay. play something. So, okay. I'm hoping I can bait him and maybe summon terror. Like I said, he'll probably go after the one that's not summoned by you, Bell. Like, okay. either way, I'm probably screwed. So. Oasis. Oh, man. I guess Oasis. Is, see, I'm, I'm so behind the vitamin Y. Uh, Oasis being released probably really helped you, Bell, didn't it? Yeah, it helped. <laughs> It's just crazy because Oasis is like what, like four months old or okay. something crazy like that. It oh, came out in what, Cross Souls? Or next New Challengers? It came out in, didn't it? Yeah. What oh, Cross Souls? Yes. Yeah, Actually, three you know what? It doesn't matter because I'm mistiming anyway. What woman's timing? Well, I'm mistiming. What? What woman's timing? Because he's gonna go f Ice Hand, destroy, what? and then effect. I think I'm gonna miss timing with you, Bell. You Bell? Yeah, I'm gonna miss timing with you, Bell. Damn yeah, you got this. <laughs> That's terrible. I fucking ice hand. Yeah. Fucking fire yeah. and ice hand. Still so fucking good. Yeah, mass destruction like that will kind of mess up a deck that's like really relying on a few cards going off. That yeah, didn't matter. All right. Oh, what a great way to begin. It's just me getting my ass beat by fucking ice hand and fire hand. Still don't like them. Still don't like them. I don't care if they're faded and out of popularity. I still don't like them. It's like each individual hand smacked your ass once each. Mm hmm What the fuck, number generator? What the fuck? What? I keep drawing Labradite. Oh, shoot. I put a space between you, Bell and Mastery. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, here I am. Why do I keep drawing? I opened many, up Labradite last door. Opened up it again. Like, what the fuck? How many do you run? One. Nuh-uh. Yes. You, you put Labradite, you Bell, with one Labradite? I only need one Labradite because I keep reviving it. That makes sense, but call it something else. <laughs> oh, no, no. The deck revolves completely around Labradite. Without Labradite, I wouldn't even be doing any plays. Oh, please don't tell me I'm going against Toons. I hate Toons. Or Chicken Race. Any of that sacky shit. I it's don't Chicken Race. That. Quit. I said... He Toon Tabled into Toon Table. There's a 0% chance it's anything. If you're playing Toons, you want to top deck those search cards. Mm-hmm. You're going to let it go? You probably net decked Paul Cooper. You saw that? Paul Cooper did something with this deck? Yeah, Paul Empty Jar Motherfucking Cooper got a feature match in Rimini playing uh, playing Chicken Race. 
got his ass beat, Valor twice. Apparently, I didn't watch it. Apparently, he, he got, yeah, dude. I said, that opened up terrible, too. Let's okay, so if he, if he gets, if he gets either, two, uh, if he gets either, um, whoa, what did he just do? I don't know, he just played two You can't, tables, you can't, you can't just no, activate it, you have to search just activate it. Otherwise, you have to keep it in your hand. Yeah, you can't do that. You, yeah, you, he, dude, just quit, he's playing chicken race. Yeah, I mean, you're obviously a scrub here. You can't just activate it unless you have a target to resolve your search. You can't. You're really it. gonna watch him chicken race you? Because you don't have a target to resolve your search. You're absolutely right, but like, I can't even believe you're dealing with this, dude. That's, not, part, that's actually part so, of why I'm why doing this. That's with coming from yeah, but that's coming from somebody who plays chicken race. Like, how the hell? All right. Yeah, so it's literally just like I mean, I don't know what you're playing because I mean, if you want, if I mean, I guess it's just for deck thinning for tune table for tune table for tune table. I don't know. Oh, well, I mean, he probably drew the target. I run, um, I run a Toon World because... Oh, my God, what is he doing? I don't oh, know. Oh, okay, he's searching. Like I, said, okay. I run a, a Toon target? World, so... You... So, wait, why the hell would he want it to not resolve if he had a target? I don't know. No, he doesn't have a target. Okay, no, put it back. Target, Man, no! All right, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, quit. It's Chicken Race, and he's I'm an done. idiot. Yeah, I'm done. I run, um, I run Toon World because you need to have a, a certain amount of life point separation to use, um... To use life equalizer, so Toon World can do that extra thousand if you didn't draw all your chicken races or all your pseudo spaces mm -hmm. or all your upstarts. I mean, you, you need to draw eight of them to actually pull it off, but that's not hard because you're drawing for your old deck. Yeah. But yeah, that's the reason to. That's the that's the best search card in my opinion for um Toon Table. You can also run Toon Blue Eyes and combo with Trade In, but that takes more targets than than really needed. Okay, people, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Slate is actually a proponent that says that there's no such thing as number generator. No, that's not at all what I say. I just don't think the number gener generator affects what you're drawing. Like, I mean, okay, that's not what I meant. Slate. I don't think the number generator Slate. favors limited cards. I don't think the number generator favors limited cards. Slate. I've never, I've never seen proof of that. Slate. Go ahead, go ahead, talk. You know what's in my opening hand? L okay, you, yeah, you you always complain about having bad luck. I don't believe that luck, e like, exists, but that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> like, you want to know what's in my opening hand for a third You've fucking been time? three times in a row, man. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> It's hilarious, but like, don't don't blame that on me somehow. Well, at least I got soul charge this time. <laughs> nah, okay, so no, let me. Not, say, not this is the first time explain. you during this happens like every time I ever play with you at the end. <laughs> I have I have to okay, so let me explain my point, right? And I guess now that you have hella new subscribers from the YTDL, you guys don't know this yet. Okay, so I slate. <laughs> do not disbelieve in number generators. I I disbelieve that limited cards come into your hand more because of their existence. That doesn't make sense to me. I might not have a full grasp of what a number generator does. Also, I don't believe in luck. If you need to hear elaboration on that, go to the RJB Zero's channel. Just put luck into the little search bar thing. He has a beautiful video on luck versus fortune and other specific terms that you're using Yu-Gi-Oh! to describe, you know, coming up with the cards that you need to do whatever sort of play uh, that you need to make. But, but yeah, so, so luck is not a thing at all. It's, it's like a thing that some people believe in that but for, you know, arbitrary reasons, some people have good or bad things happen to them. Like, I don't know. He explains it way better than I just did, but it's a really great video. It has tons of views, um, makes a lot of sense to me, and it's like a go-to when these guys are complaining about having bad luck. <laughs> these guys meaning Daniel and Stanti. I have terrible luck. <sighs> so, okay, so yeah, I get that, I get that, you know, bad things happen to you, like, quite often, <laughs> but, um, but I think that just might be a result of you know, I mean, I guess in this case it can't be inconsistency because, like you said, you're running one. But um, it just might be a result of you not noticing when um, when things are going your way. That that's that's one one explanation. I said I opened up beautiful. As you can clearly see, I opened up fan fucking tastic. Yeah, but you opened up laboratory. Oh shit, are you going double token? Uh huh. Is that even legal? Mm -hmm. Fuck. Let me read this shit. Scott with 12. Why is it okay? So why is the original level street is 12 if they don't just put 12 stars on it? Like I, don't know, I, I guess it's just it's, it's to signify that it cannot be synchro summoned in a, in an orthodox manner. But whatever. Uh, must be some extra deck. Like two level five. I knew that. Uh. Oh, so can both of them activate? Yep. Yep. Okay, so that makes sense. All right. I thought I I mean I just assumed that it would be once per turn, but nope. I guess it is once per turn. Once per turn for each. That's fucking broken. There's literally no way he can win. Dude, he has a Z and he he breakthrough skilled your emerald. No, he breakthrough skilled my dark graffer. 
That's even worse. <laughs> he has a zero percent chance of winning. Oh, ooh, ooh, no, no. Okay. Uh, what does Vorder Vorder Dragon only negate spells and traps? Right? Yeah. Right. Yep. Ooh, dude, he might actually just be playing the perfect deck to counteract your field. Mm-hmm. He can individually pop shit. Yep. Oh God. Because like Silken can't be targeted when you control what is it? Another synchro monster. Oh, so double token score of like a lock. Yep, that's the reason why I did it. That's, <laughs> that's one of the reasons cool. why I did it because like a yeah, that's that's a really good lock. that's a really good lock. So can't be targeted by attacks or for card effects. So he needs to get rid of Void Ogre and Bales, and then he needs to use like Dark Hole or something. Yep, that's that's pretty interesting. Um, I guess he could wait. No, can't be targeted for attacks. So we can't even Megalo and attack over both of them. So yeah, that's that's pretty good. I mean, it's it's obviously <laughs> supposed to be pretty resource heavy to get rid of, but. Yeah, I'd like to see if he can pull this out. Because I've always hated Mermails, and this new card didn't make them any worse, that's for sure. No, definitely not. <laughs> although, although I'm not a, um, I'm not somebody who thinks, like, just because I don't like going against Mermails doesn't mean that I think they should be hit to all hell. I don't think they're competitive currently, so I think that Dragoon's going to two is fine. Um, I think that something else will definitely get hit when this guy comes back out, or when this guy comes out um, at all. But that'll be for a long time, right? Because wasn't it a uh, exclusive? Yeah, and they said that they're not uh, putting any more OCG exclusives in uh, packs anymore. Yeah, I heard about that. That was a while ago, I think. But that's um, first of all, the the concept of exclusives is stupid. <laughs> like, why are there even exclusives? Uh -huh. To get people to move countries. <laughs> like even the fact that they're exclusives from Europe. Like you know what I mean? Like the manga stuff is not legal in Europe because they don't, you know. Uh, domestically print the shit in Europe. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's pointless. Like they should what they should have done instead of saying that they're not going to give any more uh, Japan exclusives to to the U.S. is just say you know exclusives are are completely stupid. We're going to get rid of all of them. That's what they should have done. What do you think about that? Like, am I crazy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're crazy. No, I'm crazy. No, no. <laughs> no I get what you're saying. No, that, there's there's no upside to exclusives. Yeah, the, the Void Ogre was... I mean, obviously that's the best choice from your standpoint, but... You know, I said, I, the Void Ogre play was cute, but, you know, if, I, if I'd known I was going to go against Mermels, I wouldn't have fucking done that, so... Yeah, of course. All right, so Megalo can to attack twice, but did he read Tilkin? Yeah, it's like, okay, Megalo can attack twice, so... That, that literally does nothing, because he can't get over Beals, right? And, uh, no, he's, he gonna, he's about to get over Beals, right? Wait, what does he have in his graveyard? Okay, so I guess he's going to summon one of those three. He, he can't get over Beals, mm -hmm. and he can't attack either of the Chilkins, so attacking twice doesn't do anything, right? No, I don't see it. So far, I don't see it. I mean, yeah, maybe he has, like, limited removal for Aquas. What the fuck? <laughs> or, wait, is that what this is? No, it's a Sea Serpent. Okay. Yeah, he's he's stupid. I guess he wanted to trigger the, the guard that he tributed. Yeah, he just wanted to trigger that card that he tributed. Yeah, good guys. <sighs> Fucking busted. Ha <laughs> ha! Effects! Wow. Oh my god, so busted. Mmm. Ooh. Oh my god. I'm trying to think what I want. You have to summon two scrap dragons if you have them. I have two scrap dragons. <laughs> I do what you do or you do not. I do. Do it! Ha <laughs> ha! That's great. Do it. What should man? I pop though? What should I pop? Like, uh, I mean, that's one? obviously a seer we'll back hand. there. We obviously does he have, know this does, is he have a, does he have a uh, not a dine? Oh my god! Does he have a uh, a gun in his hand? I think he has a gun in his hand. Yeah, he has a gun in his hand because he's rushing with Pike. And do you know what the other card is? Mm, no. So we don't know if he can trigger the gun. Oh, but if you pop the face down, it might be. It's a sphere because he's searched it with Megalo. Okay, so are you popping that or not? That's the question. Should I? Probably not. I I didn't Probably see. Probably not because I'm just yeah, gonna run into it. So I don't know. I don't know then. I didn't. I, to be honest, I didn't see him search the spear, so that's my fault for thinking that that would be something you'd pop. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do, man. Uh, trying to think what I want to do. I mean, you can list off the cards in your extra deck if you want. Uh, another Ultimaya, Leo, Beals, two Scraps, one Hot, one Moonlight, one Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. What does Moonlight say? Uh, I bounce a card. Say again? When when a, when this card is special summon or level five or higher monster is special summon to your spawn side of field, I can target one special summon monster and return it back to the hand. Isn't that like wonderful against his deck? I mean, I'm 
No, It'll interact the spear. I really don't want him to have his shit back into his hand. Um, but he has to have discard outlets. That's true. If he summons a level, a level whatever or higher monster, you know what? Clearwing is actually really good. Okay, yeah, Clearwing's good too. Yeah, I, I, when I heard Moonlight, I just kind of like phased out, or maybe I just didn't hear Clearwing if you said it first. Yeah, Clearwing's pretty good too. Yeah, um, because Clearwing can go ahead and negate. I mean, and, and you know, take note, you get two, so, <laughs> so you can get both if you want. Um, I'm gonna clear wing and I'm gonna summon Scrap Dragon. Like I said, I have a feeling that maybe he'll use the Abyss Sphere. I'm not sure. Yeah, let me see what Clear Wing says. I know that I know that it's good against monsters that have high levels. Um, so if he uses the effective level five or higher monster that targets a monster. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't blame him. I don't blame him because I I beat yeah, that you, ass. You had I, it. I had that. Yeah. Once per turn, you don't need a push turn. When level five or higher monster activates its effect, I negate the effect and destroy it and then once per turn when when a level five or higher monster is targeted then i negate and destroy that card and if i use one of these effects to destroy you the monster by its own effect i gain the attack until, until the end That's phase good, yeah, so that negates. would have been great i can not only negate like his megalo and his tf but then i can also block the targeting by like marksman and shit and infantry so yeah i had that he got his ass beat because i opened up fan yeah. fucking tastic <laughs> Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I guess that's what the deck is supposed to do, right? It's supposed. To, I didn't even think about that when you explained to me that it was Labradorite deck, uh, Labradorite Ubel. Is it kind of designed around Ultimaya? Yeah, it can do Ultimaya, it can do Leo. And just because it's dark, it has synergy. And it can utilize Limit Revert. Ultimaya has zero attack, so it can also utilize Limit Reverse like Ubel does. That's really cool. Synchro Monsters have always been good for that reason, that um, you know, Call of Honda can bring them back without them having to be fucking normal monsters, you know what I mean? He said, bro, maybe he knows your channel. I have no idea. Generally, when people know my channel, they generally speak up to me. Well, he said, bro, instead of, like, hi. <laughs> it's like... I don't know. Huh? Did you open Labradorite again? Yes. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, actually, I, this is a point that I wanted to bring up. So, um... I, I was running Harpies, you know, I've been telling you that, I've been pushing that throughout these videos because I, I like it so much, right? So okay. Harpies, so I ran Rageki, and it took me a week to open up with it. That was like a thing that I noticed, like right the first time, I actually, I noticed it before um, before I ever opened it, I'm like, where the hell is my Rageki? So, you know, that's I guess that's my counter argument for for um, you always so opening last up. last time it was Labradite and Soul Charge, and before that was Labradite and Ultimate. I ran out. Hey, at least you're getting, at least you're getting um, Labradite with Dark Graffer, you know what I mean? Yeah, or, or yeah. some way. One door I didn't, and I lost, clearly. Yeah. Uh, it's an interesting deck, though. I'm not sure if I want to set Maui, because I could go off with the... La I could do the Labradite Ultimate play right now. I could. Do but it. Th the problem with that is, is that depending on what I summon, he can easily handle me, you know? Dude, I think that... Well, okay, he's... Wow. He's playing nine cards in his extra deck. I think the uh, <laughs> I think the Ultimate play should be fine. Yeah, uh, I don't see how bad players that play nine cards in the extra deck in online duels. Um, Could I say the biggest problem with doing this play and pulling this play off is that it depends on what monster I summon. Because if I summon Beals, then all you have to do is just, you know, like make a Castell spin back the Beals and attack over the Ultimate. Because I can only pull off one right now. But then. Uh, then I can counter that Castell play with, like, Clearwing, which of course you target me, I'm going to destroy you. But then you just throw the Greki at me. So, you know. Well, I mean, Castell is way, way more accessible than um, Rageki, so... So you think I, mean, I should summon Clearwing and block? Uh, you have to, I mean, you have to consider all of the diff I mean, it seems like your normal first your first turn play is Beals, so I mean, if that's, what you, that's what's been working for you, I'd go with Beals, but... I, like I said, it's either or, because I, I put in Clearwing for either or. So, how, like, so if he summons Castell... Well, how detrimental is that to you? Take note, he's playing nine cards in his extra deck. Bad, okay, if then, he summons Castell, he's going to spin back my Beals and then attack over my Ultimaya. I mean, well, yeah. I don't Clearwing would be able to block that. But if he gets Regeki, he could just throw the Regeki at me and, and I lose my entire field. I guess well, there are, if there he Regekis and I have Beals, then Beals lives, of course. It's not like every, it's not like this is a rank four format. There are plenty of decks that can't summon Castell first turn, so... Uh, I don't know, I just don't think Regeki is the best option to, to summon... Oh, no. like, I, I wouldn't say, you know, I'm going to summon Beals because he might have Regeki. You know, it's pretty low probability, especially because he's playing 36 cards. Or, th or 40, 44 cards. Um, 
Let's we'll see if shit hits the fan. Or if I'm yeah, well, fan. I don't know. It'll, it'll be... It'll be interesting. It's going to send a lot of cards. Jane Burn? Oh, then if it's Black Wings, then I chose the perfect card. Fucking Black Wings do nothing against Beals. Um... Unless he blocks Sonic's me, but I should be cautious. Yeah, that. Mm, so uh, just... if he would, okay, uh, okay, so he's gonna hit the top. He's gonna hit the, okay, yeah, he can do that, but nothing happens, right? Yeah, nothing happens. All right, nothing happens. Well, no, he can't. He can't target uh, Ultimaya. So okay, so, so just it yeah. So tell, it has tell him to be. that. Tell him that, and then yeah, So it card. has to be my call to haunted or one of his cards. Yeah. He's just a scrub, like I said, nine cards. Yeah, man, he's looking like a scrub. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say what I'm thinking. I don't. <laughs> how can you, how can you do duels against these people that are so terrible and then like, actually post them? Like that's, this is terrible. Like why, why would you want to, why would you want people to see you just wreck a scrub? Like Cause it's funny. And it's like I said, if you, if funny, you want to see you some, it every episode. Yeah, like I, ah, I just want to see some competition. Like either okay, so it's not even like it's a deck. It's not even like it's because your deck. You know, it's it's not because your deck is just you know a win or lose deck. It's literally because your opponents are just win or lose opponents. <laughs> um, I guess that's the reason that I've you know been hesitant to follow Vitamin Y series. Okay. Plus, I'm not really that into Ubel, which is crazy because like everybody else that you tag with is like a huge Ubel fan. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Stanzi. <and> <coughs> Demetrius is a big U-Bell fan, but, you know, I've just never really gotten into U-Bell. So Black Sonic is when I attack a Black, Black Wings. If you, if you declare, <clears throat> excuse me, if you I, I put Black Wings for the YTDL, so. <laughs> so uh, if you declare an attack targeting a Black Wing monster, um, you banish, you know, all face attack position monsters your opponent controls. Uh, I think I might, I might take it slow. Put you so it's crazy because, because if, even if you can, if you even if you control a black wing, they have to actually target that black wing for the attack. So um, it's it's just an average card in my opinion. Like it's 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 super broken when it goes off, but you know it's too hard to get off in my opinion. So I don't run it. I guess that's a spoilers, but whatever. I don't run Black Sonic. <laughs> I might side it. I forget. No, I don't. I don't side it. <sighs> I think you should be on the winning end of this duel. Like I said before, this guy's pretty terrible. How can you play Black Wings with less than 15 cards? Like, that deck would be a deck that you'd play, like, 70 cards in the extra deck if you could. Yeah. Um, you know, like, they don't even, like... <laughs> like, people... Some people don't even have room for Goyo in that deck anymore, which is insane, because Goyo was what made that deck good. Yep. You know, and now this the format has evolved so much that there are better cards, you know, like... Like Moonlight Rose and Clear Wing are really good, and that's really accessible to a deck that can make level seven synchros. And obviously Black Rose. Black Rose is still amazing. <laughs> Black Rose is still. Don't, uh, don't 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 even say it. Don't even say anything because you're gonna be like, what the fuck? What are you paying attention to? What he did? He attacked over Armageddon Knight and didn't get his effect. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Shit! If you didn't point it out, oh my god, I wouldn't notice because like that's just something that's automatic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's not even something I think about when I attack with the Shura. I just immediately go summon a you know a Gale or a or a Pinnick. Yeah. Depending on what version of the deck I'm playing. Yeah. Okay. But so, I guess he didn't want it. Yeah. Whatever. Those 37 cards and not one of them is a target for Shura. <laughs> it's not like Gale is at one anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, like uh, I could get that if he drew the Gale and he doesn't want to summon a, a, a fucking. Um... You don't have to say okay twice. Just destroy it. You win, he said. Okay. Okay. Kalut, that's what I was looking for. If he, <laughs> you win. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, if he doesn't want to summon a Kalut, I can understand that back when Gale was at one. But there's no reason he shouldn't have a target in his deck right now. Wow. Alright, go ahead. I guess you want to quit. Just admit defeat and... That's it, I guess. It's unrated. It's not like stalling is going to actually do you any help. Like, you can just literally leave the duel and he'll have no penalty for it. Seriously. Like, 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 five seconds and just go. Awesome Paladin <laughs> says hi, Slate. What, does he want to talk to you? What, who said hi, Slate? Some guy named Awesome Paladin in the watcher chat. Oh, he, uh, he messaged me. I don't know who he is. He asked for, uh... oh, wait, not, wait. <coughs> 
Dang, I have banned as fuck. Yeah, I've I've had two that guy plus another person personally messaged me asking what XE's monsters were good. <laughs> like like what? I just ignored it and I was like, okay. <laughs> gonna, there you go. There you go. Hey. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just I just don't feel like dealing with the tryhards and rated. Are you done now? Yeah, I'm done. That's that's really tryhards. What? Not nah, no. You know what? And and you know I, I understand how you don't want to like deal with this, but you know you're you're right. The the people <coughs> in low, low end of rated are are really terrible. Um, and it's not really something you can build up fast because I think the uh, the DN advanced ladder uses experience now to match people with each other. So um, you know you'd be with you'd be with scrubs for like months. You know what I mean? Um, but once you get high up, it's it's no problem anymore. Like I I've gained like what like two thousand experience now. So like my yeah, I've got yeah, I've got three thousand plus experience under my belt on DN, so I don't have to deal with anybody who's bad. Now. I mean, it's all bad. Either I stay at the bottom and I deal with try hard scrubs at the bottom of rating, and even if I get my rated up, I'm just gonna be doing against Metadex, and I'm trying to sit here easy battle like no. Oh. Yeah. Either or, I'm. I can see I'm why fun. you don't use vitamin Y in in raid, but like I think other, I don't know. You, I guess you don't really do anything else on DN. Then again, I don't really. <laughs> yeah, I don't do anything else on DN. And or, I record daily yeah. duels on Dev Pro and. Uh, you have, I really don't have any have free time tag, to be getting yeah. my rating up for something I really don't care about. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm always busy. Always. I just don't like when people that, like, want to get better complain about, you know, DN rated being bad. Like, they play Dev Pro because it's automatic and shit. Like, I don't like people like that. Um, but, you know, I, I can understand how you don't want to have to put in the time for something that's not that important to you. That's that makes sense. All right. So. All right. So I think you saw what it could, what what the deck does. It has fun. It was good. Them. It was good. I liked it. Me personally, I thought it was a, a really cool deck. You know, just it got a little bit slower because the little chain is banned. I used to be able to just pump it all out, you know, but now it's like a little bit slower. But I, I enjoy the deck enough to go ahead and keep it on here because I've I've moved a lot of decks off of Vibe Y just because they're really Lavalo chain reliant. Like Uvalix Seas, I'm moving that off because it takes me too long to set up the graveyard now. I mean. Yeah, um, I think that Konami hit Lavalo Chain specifically because they were worried about Uvalixes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish. No. No, they didn't. They, like I said, they probably just didn't want to do stupid shit in worlds, or maybe they were just being really cautious about Clown ba Blade, even though, you know, it's already a thing in shit all, so. I have a question for you on this episode. Um, have you mastered Ubel yet? <laughs> I'd still say no. I'd probably still say no. Do you think that there's room for Ubel to, you know, be good? Uh, I mean, I would yeah. love for them to go ahead and do, like, a Ubel archetype, but, of course, Ubel is, like, a, a you know... No, no, that's the thing. No, that could happen, man. That could... I would chill. love... I, I was, you I'd see, say that's the biggest problem I, with it, Ubel. They've got support for, like, freaking Warrior of Zera. They can definitely make stuff for, for Ubel. I would love You're I would love a Ubel archetype. Then I could probably say I can master Ubel because then you know, I have things to record in Ubel. Right it's now, like I'm, the... I'm just, like, in a purgatory of just oh. splashing Ubel in decks... And you know, trying to fit this puzzle piece in various puzzles and being like, hey, maybe Ubel belongs here and here and here and here. You know? Well, and, yeah, because like uh, if we're we're talking about like you know, Jaden's card is is Ubel, right? Ubel's Jaden's card. So, um, you know, if you take other protagonist cards, they've gotten support. You know, Stardust Dragon has a couple cards that work with it. Black Rose has a few. Uh, Red Dragon Archfiend has a few. Um, you know, Dark Magician has a lot. Uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon has a lot. Blue Eyes White Dragon has a lot. Um, you know, I guess they've just been ignoring the GX cards for some reason. Yeah, they really <laughs> like everything that I just named off was either from the original series or five Ds. <laughs> and then the reason, and a lot of the Heroes, reasons why they're Heroes. getting a lot more support is because of the new Arc Five anime. Yeah, we're going uh, to Arc different 5. dimensions. They're in the synchro dimension, so that's why we're getting a whole black bunch of new red archfiends because Jack's there and new black ones because there's crow yeah. there. So maybe when they go to the five, I mean the Zex, I mean the GX dimension, the the fusion dimension, maybe they'll well, do something. So you maybe they'll just have Ubel appear as a duelist. That'd be awesome. That'd be cool. I mean, that. that would be really cool. And then he's using like cards to support his, you know, <laughs> Ubel. That'd be <laughs> fun. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I, I can see that happening. You know, uh, Arc Five is pretty, you know, off the wall. So either nice. All right, people, I'm done. So yep. there we go. So there, the only thing that you guys are missing now is just daily duels. <laughs> and like I said, Death Pro still down. As soon as it gets up, I will go ahead. Not only will I record the 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 Utah tournament report and give you guys your Monday daily duels, but then I'll go ahead and tag uh, possibly probably with Slate uh, with trains and get that up, and then I'll be back on schedule. Cool, cool.
All right, people. So thanks for watching. Oh, and it's like, thanks for joining me. Links in the description yeah. to his channel. Yep. All right. Thanks I'll for watching. Thank you.